This is Wushan City, located in the northwest of Fujian province. It's not only a birthplace of rock tea or wulong tea and world-renowned black tea, but also a home to world natural and cultural heritage. Just look at these beautiful karst mountains with magnificent limestone peaks. They stand tall and proud, as if giants guarding the secrets of tea making that we are about to explore. Imagine being surrounded by mountains with peaks that are permanently shrouded in a veil of mist and clouds. Imagine also that the sunlight has penetrated the layers of cloud and you're enveloped in a warm and soothing glow. Well, this is the environment where the famous Wu Rokti is nurtured, with the Wu Mountains acting as a wall to provide protection from the forces of nature, tea has been grown here for thousands of years. The origin of every bush in the tea fields here can be traced back to six ancient trees known as the Ta Hong Pao mother trees. They have survived for over 360 years, growing tenaciously in the crevices in the rock face. Wang Shenming is a national inheritor of the Wu Rock tea processing art. Coming from a family with a long tradition of tea growing, he has dedicated over 20 years to caring for the six mother trees that are the original source of the Ta Hong Pao tea, the most famous type of Wu Yi rock tea. China Wu Long Cha, the original source of the Ta Hong Pao tea, was in Wu Yi San. It was the first part of the Wu Long Cha. The peaks of Wuyi Mountains aren't especially tall, yet they're often shrouded in mist. In the afternoon, the sun penetrates it and caresses the tea bushes with gentle rays of light. The moisture contained in the mist settles on the rocky slopes before trickling down to the roots of the tea plants, consequently enriching them with minerals. This process creates the distinct flavor of Wuyi rock tea, known as Yan Yun or rocky rhymes. Yan Cha. I heard it because it has this flavor called Yan Gu Hua Xiang. What is it called Yan Gu Hua Xiang? This is Wu Yi Yan Cha. The environment is very good. The Jin San Zhuan Jin Yin Xiu Qi is the same. We can enjoy Yan Gu Hua Xiang. Yanyun是什么? The taste of Wuyi rock tea reflects the feeling you get when you gaze at the Wuyi mountains. A sense of harmony and at the same time of something unique. The first time you try Wuyi rock tea is an unforgettable experience. 
Initially, you're struck by the earthy, roasted flavor. But very soon, a complex bouquet of flavors takes over. Flowery sweetness, fruity notes, and even the fragrance of almond and white sesame. The precise nature of this celebration of flavors is dependent on the type of tea plant and how the leaves are processed. Only a true master can create tea composed of such a rich palette of flavors. There's only one season a year for picking wee tea leaves, and it falls roughly between April 20 and May 6. It's a very narrow window for gathering the whole year's crop. The city of Wui is left virtually deserted as everyone has headed into the mountains to pick the tea. To the people of Wui, gathering and sharing their precious tea leaves is a sacred mission. Liu Bei, who also goes by the name Jasmine, is one of very few female inheritors of the Wuyi rock tea processing art. Because of tea, her life took a radical turn. Hey, Jasmine! Hi, you made it! <laughs> I, I made it! It was a nice trip. Actually, just yeah. looking around, I found it so beautiful. Of course, it's a natural landscape. You know, I, I know that you studied abroad and you yeah. worked abroad. I, I'm sure you didn't come back here just for the scenery. I studied electronic engineering in mm -hmm. Sunyasen University, that's in China. Uh -huh. And then I went abroad to uh, United States, uh -huh. in Chicago. Uh, I studied oh. Master of Science in Law. So none of this uh, subjects relates to tea. Right. Yeah, yeah. But I, I was abroad and I found that uh, my friends, they all love tea a, a lot but they ah. know a little, they, so, they know little about tea. So I want to share this fragrance, I want to share this flavor with mm -hmm. them. So um, that's why I decided that when I come back to China, mm -hmm. I have to like focus on this tea industry. After returning home from studying abroad, Jasmine worked as a securities analyst. But she soon quit her job to follow in her father's footsteps. Is there any other inspiration that you, you tap into when it comes to the tea? My father, he's my idol not only because of his personalities, also because of his master skills mm -hmm. in making tea. So, so do you think I have an opportunity to meet your father? Of course. I'm doing the tea picking procedure. Mm -hmm. And then after this process, we'll go back to our factory and we'll go to the next procedure. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I'll show it to my father. Great, great, great. Let's go. Hey. Depending on how it's processed, tea is classified into six major types, namely green, yellow, white, black, wulong, and dark. Wuyi rock tea, as a special wulong variety, sits between green, non-fermented tea, and black, fully fermented tea. The processing involves more than 10 steps, principal among which is the fermentation, which must be done at precisely the right temperature to bring out the complex flavors. Having been inherited and developed over many centuries, the art of processing Wui rock tea has been listed as part of the nation's intangible cultural heritage. Liu Guoying, Jasmine's father, is an inheritor of the Wuyi rock tea processing art. Having dedicated his life to perfecting the various skills involved in making it, today 
he is celebrated as one of the most famous tea masters in the region. Uh-huh. Once the tea leaves are harvested, the artisans set to work, producing the mao cha, or semi-processed tea. At this stage, the tea is not yet suitable for consumption. Preparing the green leaves for fermentation is the most critical step at this phase and is the ultimate test of the artisan's skill. This is where the magic happens, and I, I really, I really want to try to see if, if it's that hard. You can see it. 然后再加上这个骨度的动作 Okay. Yeah, like it feels like it starts to dance, but it's so hard to make those two movements together. Wow, it takes like three years just to learn that movement. Oh, then you spread it on the mat like that. You know, when it comes to this stage, I think this is really important. This is where the whole magic happens. You know, the whole aroma, complexity, different levels and layers of that smell and taste. It, it, that's what's happening right there. When the mao chai is ready, the next step in the refining follows. When the tea leaves are roasted, this is another vital stage of the tea processing process. When the fermentation is halted and the desired flavor and aroma established. Wow. This place is our tea house, called Bei Jin. In the process, the 这里面都是木炭，木炭要把灰盖掉。如果温度不够高，这灰就薄一点。要温度要要太高了，就加点灰上去。那么它的灰厚度厚掉，那温度就降下来了。那灰来就是调整，调整温度。对对对对对。然后
Wii Rock tea with its warm roasted notes is to tea aficionados what a fine French vintage is to wine lovers. Compared to other varieties of Wuyi Mountains teas, it's still young, but that only means it mesmerizes us with a promise of mysteries yet to be revealed. When not perfecting the tea processing art, Liu Guoying loves to spend time drinking tea with his daughter, Jasmine. It's an opportunity for him to impart some precious knowledge about Wu Yi Rock tea and the culture surrounding it. Time is very <音>就是这么了解茶每天喝茶对你们来说是一种习惯还是生活方式还是 就是既轻松，然后又能够就是让我们去思考，在冲茶的过程中，包括你泡茶的这个仪式感和你喝茶的这个过程，其实都有一点点像是在帮助你冥想，就是像吴岩茶，它的内涵物质丰富，它的味道
，中国的“茶”这个字，上面一个草。中间一个人，下面一个木，也就是人在草木间，嗯，就是听人合意的思想。所以这个茶，嗯、这一片树叶，呃，就是天与人之间的一个桥梁。嗯，人与人之间的桥梁，比如说我们在一个人喝茶，嗯、我们人呀、啊、就特别和悦。如果我们几位啊在一起喝茶，哎，就特别和气。如果我们这个茶再放大一些，让全世界的人都来喝茶，那叫和平。Tianxin Yongle Buddhist Temple was built in the Tang Dynasty over 1,200 years ago. According to historical records, the temple lay in the heart of the Wuyu Rock Tea Plantation area, and the original Ta Hong Pao Mother Tree was located in its yard. Tea to the highest level. 已经用语言无法表达，只能自己去感悟。比如说，我在泡茶，我还在茶是茶，我是我。但是呢，喝到一定的程度的时候呢，呃，这个时候你跟茶已经合意了，所以这个茶呢，越喝越冷静，越喝越安静，越喝呢越淡定。The time he spent at the Buddhist temple has broadened Huang Chunghui's world view. He decided to introduce new approaches to cultural appreciation and to tea drinking. With this in mind, he began to promote a new tea drinking culture, the Zen Tea Culture Space. So, you go out, you see tea, you see water, you see the sun. This city is so beautiful. 对，这种感觉是什么呢？叫山水茶。那武夷山有句话叫“千载如是道，万古山水茶”。那在这幅画面上体现出来了。因为我们这个家族啊，做了十二代茶，三百多年，这个代代相传。其实我在庙里做的那些事的同时呢，也在庙里做茶。那就是禅空间文化，在你看来到底是什么？我觉得禅的空间文化，它是一种空灵。嗯，空灵它是一种干净，它其实是很简的，很简朴啊。然后简朴当中呢，代表有有品质的简朴。在这一个空间里面，也许只有一束花，或者是一个茶壶，一个茶器皿。但是这种空灵的感觉，它不是说没有，它是有当中没有，没有当中又有，但是有品质的有。跟有意境的有，它不是你用手跟眼可以捕捉到的。然后你走到一个空间里，什么都没有的时候，你会感觉到，哎，这个地方感觉也很美。其实这就是空间的禅的意境。When we drink we rock tea, what we're tasting isn't just a fragrant beverage, we're also savoring the wisdom and hardworking spirit of the Wuyi people. Contained in a single cup are the centuries-old philosophy of the tea masters and the beauty of the natural environment. As a drink, Wuyi Rock Tea not only quenches the thirst, but also helps the soul to find peace. The Wuyi Mountains are famous for more than just tea. They have featured prominently in Chinese history and culture. During the Southern Song Dynasty, over 900 years ago, the philosopher Zhu Xi taught in the area. He introduced Confucian elements and wrote poetry that have become an integral part of the Wuyi Mountains tea culture.
Zuo Jun is a descendant of Zhu Xi and also an inheritor of the Wu Yi Rock tea processing art. Zhu Xi, his life, ah, from knowledge, from knowledge, from knowledge, from knowledge. 在武夷山五十年来，嗯哼，他对茶的一种的，就是由衷的喜好吧，嗯哼，是他一生最大的乐趣。就很多我们儒家的一些哲理性的问题，他通过茶的滋味来给他表述出来。As a Neo-Confucian scholar, Zhu Xi viewed tea. As a way of understanding Confucianism, he taught that the beauty of tea doesn't lie in its appearance, but rather in its virtues of harmony and frugality. He urged people to enjoy tea in moderation and avoid extravagance and waste. The Zhu Xi put our Wu Yi Cha's inner meaning as the Zhong Yong as the Zhong Yong principle. 不偏即为中，不义即为庸。中天下之正道，庸天下之定理。朱熹呢，把儒家的最高的道德赋能到了武夷茶里面，所以呢，才使我们武夷茶从柴米油盐酱醋茶的武夷茶升华到了精神层面，就是今天所说的琴棋书画诗酒茶。中国是礼仪之邦，嗯，有一个礼行天下，那我们茶呢，又称为茶和天下，这也是我们中国儒家的一种礼的传承。Rooted in the Wu Yi Mountains is a unique link between nature and culture. The old tea makers treat tea as a spiritual life force and view the complex processes involved in processing as a form of reincarnation. The younger tea makers, who also grown up amid the fragrance of Wu Yi tea, have a new understanding and perception of it. Among the blue waters and red mountains, where Confucianism, Buddhism, and Taoism coexist, Wu's tea masters continue to follow tradition, maintain their integrity, and promote a true appreciation of the delights of tea drinking.